Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, Apple held a press conference today and they announced new hardware. Now, they announced a new iMac and the new iMac Pro, and we got official release specs of Vega cards. Now, they announced the Vega 56 and the Vega 64 card. Now, the Vega 56 card will have 56 CUs, 8 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, 3,584 stream processors, 224 texture units, and 64 ROPs. Now the Vega 64 card will have 64 CUs, a whopping 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, 4096 stream processors, 256 texture units, and 64 ROPs. Now this is technically the most powerful iMac Pro ever created. Now not to be outdone, they also announced on the normal iMac line that they will be having a Radeon Pro 500 series in there with 36 compute units, which is 2,300 for stream processors and it will deliver up to 5.5 teraflops of performance now this is excellent news for those that like AMD's hardware and of course for these iMac users out there because the hardware really needed to be overhauled as it's been very underpowered for many years now I am really happy to finally get some official Vega specs. Now I'm really excited to see what these cards are capable of doing. Now 56 CUs and 8 gigabytes of HBM2 memory is excellent, especially if the clock speeds are high. And of course 64 CUs and a whopping 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory is phenomenal. Now I'm not quite sure if these are the final cards or if there's going to be even higher cards. Perhaps there's going to be a Vega 128 card. Now videocards.com did confirm that that there will be eight different configurations of Vega as they receive eight different device IDs in the leak benchmark tests. Well, of course, closer to SIGGRAPH in July, I guess we're going to get some more details. Now, for those of you out there that have been waiting for Vega, I ask you to wait patiently a little bit more. You know, you've waited this long. Uh, two more months is not that much longer to wait, especially if the performance and price will rival the competition. Anyways, I want to know what you think about the Vega 56 and Vega 64 card. What do you think of the name? I actually think Vega 64 actually has a nice ring to it. And what do you think about these processors being in the new iMac and iMac Pro? Please leave your comments down below. I ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.